Now, head of the Jamaica Football Federation, Michael Ricketts, has hit back at criticisms of mismanagement leveled against the local governing body by national defender Kemar Ta uh, Taxi Lawrence. Lawrence made his comments on the eve of the friendly international against the USA. Simon Preston reports. President of the Jamaica Football Federation, Michael Ricketts, has labeled player Kemar Taxi Lawrence's criticism against his executive as unfortunate. Speaking with TVJ Sports from France, where himself, General Secretary Dalton Wint, and First Vice President Bruce Gaynor are attending the ongoing FIFA Congress, Ricketts says he only received an email from Lawrence Wednesday morning. That came almost a day after the defender criticized the Federation on social media and spoke on Hits 92 FM's Sports Grill on Tuesday. I don't know what position Lawrence has. He's not the captain, I don't know. He may be chosen to represent them. But he's obviously speaking out of turn. We are in the process of negotiating. We gave them an option whether to stay at the brand new dormitory or go to a hotel. They insist that they want to go to a hotel. Why have we made this facility? Anyway, we've been having discussions with a hotel in Montego Bay, and he never even asked the JFF. He just went and made these pronouncements without even discussing with us. Lawrence also argued that the match fees paid by the JFF are lower than those paid by other Caribbean nations. It's a small circle when you, when you come out to football. Though. I remember a guy that played a Haiti, played a mighty Yes, he yes. He played a mighty maybe a Trinidad player. So it ended up becoming a small circle. And when you talk to and my teammate from Haiti, and he tells you that, you know, he's, every time his team travels, he flies first class anywhere they're going. When he plays one game, he collects probably $5,000. When he asks me how much I collect, I just laugh and say, you know, that's because I don't want to tell you I collect $1,000. Right. Compared to your five. When you're a Haiti, that we have been doing better than. Ricketts, in addressing those concerns, says the players are also demanding hefty sums. They are asking for 100%, every single dollar that we get from the Gold Cup. And we are saying, no, let us talk. We'll give you 50%. They are saying they want their appearance fee to move from 1000 to 2500 Let us negotiate instead of going to the media. Why not let us have some discussions? And that is what is happening right now. Simon Preston reporting for TVJ Sports.